Whoa, 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 whoa. We might be able to do it second try. And we're done. <laughs>we ended last episode off with this master clue. Our next task was to complete one clue scroll, but this is all I had in the bank. Unfortunately, it requires us to mix an anti-venom potion, and an anti-venom potion means 87 herb lore. With a boost, we can get it at 82, but still, 82 herb lore, it's not gonna be cheap. I was a little confused on what to do, so I decided to let you guys choose which way I should go about this. And it seems like the jury is in. And you guys want me to let the gods decide the tier. So I've gone ahead and changed all of the clue scroll tasks to be more specific about what tier of clue I can do. However, that does not solve this problem right here. Some of you have commented saying that I should just complete this master clue because I will need herb lore levels anyways for completion. So I shouldn't be afraid of it. And I think that's a great idea. So in this episode, I will be attempting to complete the master clue. Let's get to it. First of all, I need to figure out what is my best herb lore method. That is our first mini task for this task. So it looks like bastion potions are the best, but unfortunately those require 80 herb lore, which we don't quite have yet. Right behind that though, is the anti-fire potion. So I think we're just gonna go with that. It's about 10 GP per XP. I could go to something like a super energy potion, which is 7.62 GP per XP, which would save me 25% of my money, but it's also 30% slower, so you're saving time for money. I have money right now. We'll just go for the thing. Unfortunately, that means we have to sell something. So, hmm, let's sell the Zamrak top just because we just got it recently. I'll probably sell the Bandos chest plate. Okay, now we got 20 mil. Let's see how many anti-fires we can get. But first, let's set up our Herblore goal. We need 82, and that comes down to 700 KXP, 10 GP per XP. It's gonna be seven mil. Kind of expensive, but that's okay. It must be done. So the number we need is 4,344 potions. Of course, anti-fires sell for 100 coins each. Man, are these gonna buy? No. We just dropped way more than we needed to probably, but I wanna get started on this as soon as possible. I could be using that necklace that allows you to save like a secondary ingredient, but the thing is the secondary ingredient in this situation costs about 150 GP. So really you're actually losing money. All right, well, I'm gonna be sitting at this bank for probably an hour or two, probably two hours. So I'll be back when I get some levels. I totally missed our first level, but there is 79. Herb lore. I don't think I've gotten a herb lore level in probably at least a year, <laughs> if not more. Just keep going. Ooh, hey, there we go, 80. It's going great. I'm just sitting at this bank. I mean, there's not much else to say. I'm sitting at this bank making potions. Um, it's going good. Herb lore. That's, uh, that's herb lore for ya. Oh man, on the ultimate Iron Man, I have no reason to go to the GE, but <laughs> I'm just reading the chat. It's just, it's just hilarious, like watching what people say over here. <laughs> man, 80 herb lore is looking pretty sweet, actually. I'm so used to it still being 78, because I had it 78 for a while for raids. Who are these guys? Must be some PKers right here. Pretty silly. There's really not a lot of people at the GE today. I mean, it's not necessarily a popular world. I mean, I guess it is an unpopular world, but still, I'm assuming most people are just playing WoW today or something. Okay, and I have just received the call to help my friend out real quick. So we're gonna take a break and go do that right now. All right, let's just hop worlds. Okay, let's go. Where's he at? Well, I'm just, just here, got no one. Oh, I see a green dot. I see a green dot. Oh, here we go. 
Here we go, let's get him. I'm smack you. Yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna win? <laughs> well, I just got destroyed. Okay, looks like he is the champion. He got his higher diary completed. Well, I forgot to teleport, so I guess we're just gonna just run <laughs> to the bank. And once again, we're back. And this dude looks exactly like me, except he has a goatee. Must be a fan of the King of the Pirates series. But back to Herblore, back to Herblore. So as I sit here pondering existence while I make these potions, I got to thinking, what if the Grand Exchange was in real life? You could buy and trade items instantly, whatever you need. Toilet paper, toothpaste, bananas, I don't know, bandos tacits. Whatever you need, you can buy and receive instantly into your bank. And then I realized something. <laughs> We already have that. It's called Amazon. You know what? I'm gonna switch to a more populated world. I'm curious, cause I haven't really spent a lot of time people watching. I think it'd just be interesting to see what goes on over here. Okay, I see people still doing bank sales. I'm not sure why you would even do that. I've never done a bank sale before and I don't plan to do one. Cause like I just said, we got Amazon. Why do a bank sale when you got RuneScape Amazon? It's right here. So I see a lot of the same thing, a lot of skillers, but there's a lot of um, fashionscape going on over here too. Like look at look at this lady. Repping the the gnome scarf. Probably a dude, isn't it? Then we got holy ass. Um got that old school look. Then we got real fella over here in his maxed out gear. What a boss. Then we got someone named Cone Sound, which is dope because I like that artist. Let's try, let's try the south side. Oh, so this is where people sell things that you can't really sell on the old school Amazon. But I guess he's just buying oak logs, I guess. I don't know why you do that. Spending one bill, well, spending 2147 mil. Max cash, <laughs> it's the boot. Oh, it's the same bank sale person like a level eight. I see a lot of stakers here too. You can tell because they're just wearing a whip and they're like max combat usually. Don't mind me. I am the observer. Just a runescape anthropologist making my observations on the people. Obviously there's buy limits with the GE. So I'm assuming that's why people would trade, but I still see some people trading outside of that for some reason. Oh, I totally forgot to reply to this guy. And I didn't even... <laughs> There's 81 Herblore. One more level to go. Let's reply to this guy real quick. But I don't know what to say. What should I say? How am I? I am swell. And we got some people over here playing some flower games, I guess. World 2 has a bit too much ping for me. I'm gonna try World 6. Much less busier here. Actually got people, a lot of PVMers it looks like. So we got some, um, merchanting tutorials going on at the front of this GE right here. Noob of Chaos is saying that you should import all of your capital into merching. And then JK Hustlin is like, no, I would, because I put all my eggs in one basket. JK Hustlin coming in again. You, you longs are Stone Age algae. Oh, we're finally at the end. Here we go. 82 Herblar, which is just enough to get 87 with a boost. But how are we gonna get that boost? For this, we're gonna need some brown spice. Luckily, I have 14 of them. Next up, we just need some stews. Since we're going for the plus five boost, it means we're gonna have to put in the maximum amount of doses, which is three. I suppose before I even do this, I should buy the stuff to make it. So let's see, anti-venom potion, antidote plus plus, and Zolra scales. Okay, let's see if we get the boost. Ah, uh, it went down. So I actually have an even better strategy. Usually you have to wait for your herbler level or whatever to go back to normal, but if you have this handy dandy ornate rejuvenation pool, it gets restored automatically. Well worth it. Okay, let's try another one. And that was a minus five boost. We're almost there. Oh, it gave me plus five for wood cutting. That's not what we need. Let's try that right there and I just drink it. I have 84 herblore, 83. 
82 still. 79. Dang it. Eighth time in a row. Minus five again. <laughs> yeah, minus four. Oh, I made it. But wait a second, hold on. Did I need to have the clue in my inventory? I probably need the clue in my inventory, so I better hurry up. <laughs> there we go. That was close. We could have lost the, the plus five, but had to do it again. Awesome. Well, that's done. It means we can go take this back to Sherlock. And luckily we have this teleport right here. All right, next step on the master clue. Let's go. Show this to Sherlock, okay. Well then, this could either be really good or really bad. We have no idea, but I like that this is in the same spirit as the Distracted series challenge. So let's get into it. Burn a magic log. We have 80 fire making. Let's do that. No problem. Let's light it up. Oh yeah. This time we don't have another teleport because we still only have the Candorin hard diary by this tree, right? That's a unicorn. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's a Joro clue. Luckily, they added this necklace that can teleport you to the outpost. Otherwise, it would be quite a long run. All right, so we got a list of places to go. I guess we just need to travel farther. If we travel around and feel it, it'll deduce which areas it can be possible in. Mauritania has seven, so I'm gonna go for that one. Grab my ectophile real quick. Asgarnia is in Falador. So let's head over there. Okay, so we have two locations. One, I'm gonna grab a spade. It could either be north of the Menaphost gate in the desert or northern part of Crash Island. I'm gonna grab my royal seed pod. Um, I don't think I have a scepter. I have a skull scepter. It's not what we need though. And a spade. Don't forget that. Spade is with my farming. No. Yep, it is. Wait a second. I need to go to Crash Island, not Karamja. How silly of me. I think you just. Yep, you still go with Dero. Oh, Dero. Thank you, boss. And Wadar to the mysterious island. Thank God. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Range, right? I've done very few master crews. We'll find out how many I've done after this, but I don't know what he's hitting me with. Ooh, <laughs> good thing I had those stews there. Found a new clue. Okay, so we need to do one barrels run with the full barrel set. Well, we don't have to do the run with the with the barrel set. That's not what I mean, but just gonna grab some random things out here. I don't think I have any full set right now. I'm assuming Torag is probably the cheapest. Uh, it's not selling, of course. What about Varak? Let's go do it. And of course, we may as well try and get some loot while we're at it. Man, it's been a minute since I did Barrows last. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Last one is Torag. Not even gonna bother using prayers. And now we go into the tunnel. Man, it has been a while since I've done this. This is, this is nice. I'm glad I decided to go with this clue. I don't know how much my loot potential goes up by killing these. Oh, like 5%. Okay, might as well. I know the runes are really good too. That's the other part of this. And since I have Mauritania Elite done, I get double runes, which can be some decent money. Okay, so it says do the jig, right? Of course, we're gonna have to repair this, but oh well. Probably be faster with this. Back to the jig. Hey, we received the casket. Awesome. Well, I may as well finish off the, the Barrow's loot too while I'm here. Let's go for it. I mean, the chest has to be more than that, right? Maybe it's on the high elk or something. Some good runes right there. Okay, challenge completed. Let's open the master casket. Well, never mind. Uh, I should probably repair this. Dang it, I was gonna do it with the Varax so it looked cool, but guess not. Okay, here we are once again. Master clue, <laughs> let's do it. Hey, 500K. That's not bad. I mean, we spent seven mil for it, so it all evens out. Okay, it is time for a brand new task. Let's see what we get. Mark that off as complete. Now let's let the gods decide. Okay, okay, awesome. I actually just added that after I did the Song of the Elves. So I'm actually kind of excited for this. I have no idea what to expect. I've never watched any guide on the gauntlet 
I know virtually nothing about it. So this will be fun. This will be really fun. All right, so the only thing that I know about the gauntlet is that you can't bring any items into it whatsoever. But outside of that, I don't know anything else. This will be a very interesting experience, that's for sure. First of all, I gotta figure out where to find it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's a portal. Okay. That looks very cool. Let's enter. What are you doing down here? What is this place? This here is the gauntlet. The finest creation of the Emblot clan. It's a place to train on creatures formed from crystals. Hmm. So we gather the gear inside, face a boss. Okay. Man, I'm so excited for this. Let's do this. Answer the gauntlet. Okay then, I have a crystal scepter, a harpoon, an axe, a pickaxe, and an axe, crystal teleport, pestle and mortar. All right, what do we got here? Pump, hmm, gonna explore the area a little bit. Interesting. So we got some potions right here, and we can make armor out of crystal shards, I'm assuming you get from the dungeon. Let's go. What is that? Well, I found the boss. That was very uh, successful. Okay, we're back in. Whoa, wait a sec, we got 10 minutes. What does that mean? What's that timer mean? Okay, I just picked some stuff. Go in here. We probably need some potions. I don't know what happens when that, that timer turns off. We got a bat, spider. So that's the homeroom in there. You know what? Let's go see if we can make a weapon. What do we got here? Let's go with the bow. I don't know what I need for the bow. Do we have a, uh, what's in there? Rats? For the bow, we're gonna need one weapon frame. Not sure how to get that. Maybe wood cutting? It's a fishing spot. I'm assuming these herbs are gonna help. All right, let's see if we can make a weapon frame. Oh, there's one. Got it. Okay, weapon frame. Let's get our crystal bow. Um, let's see here. Oh wait, the singing, the singing recipe. No, how did we do that? Oh, we have to go to the singing bowl. Where's the singing bowl? There it is. To make a bow. There we go. Um, can we shoot arrows? Oh, we can. Can I make armor? There's some armor. I saw this ore. Let's mine this ore. Get a full set. Still gonna need some... Well, let's see. What else do we need? Legs? Uh, legs are gonna need friend bark. Oh, so we need some more bark. So I'm just gonna gather as many resources as I can. I'm assuming this is from mage gear, maybe? All right, let's go back to the singing bowl. Question is, how do I make vial? Can I make this? Ooh, I can. Do I have the attuned? Four minutes left. I don't even think I'm gonna get to, to do the boss, really. There's some more ore. Ooh, that's a mother load right there. I'm assuming I need some sort of, uh, some more wood. Uh, there's a fishing room. All right, well, I'm gonna gather some more fish. Oh, we can upgrade our bow. Ooh, there we go. Oh, you can use the teleport crystal. That would have been a smart idea. He has a prayer on, so I'm probably gonna need two attack styles. Let's go with the staff. Oh, I can't make it. Let's run this way. So we're gonna need that linum stuff right here. Back to the center. Yep, I have no wood. Well, let's just get a shot. I have no other choice. That's range. Don't stand there. Now it's mage. That's definitely range. And we're done. <laughs> Your re reward awaits you. Nice. Got a flyer. That's useful. First run is a failure, but that's okay. We learned a lot. Let's go for the next one. Oh, nice. We got a weapon frame right off the bat. Go back there. We'll make a crystal. First, we'll make one teleport. Next, we'll make a bow. Then we're going to harvest as much as we can. With that teleport, that teleport's going to help out a lot. Dark beast. Whoa. Can I even do any damage to that? Crystalline bowstring. Oh, I bet that's for the upgraded weapon. Crystalline wolf. I have no idea if I can restore my prayer in here. Crystal shards, weapon frame. Okay, back to the beginning. I got no ore, but maybe if we get a weapon or something. First, let's cook these. Head over to the bowl. Oh, we got a perfect bow. Ooh, 
That's amazing. What are, what are the stats real quick? Whoa, 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 whoa. We might be able to do it second try. I'm gonna need another weapon though. And I forgot a crystal. At least it's right there. Man, it's gonna slow me down. So we got two weapons now. I'm gonna make one more crystal. Five minutes left. We must only get crystal shards from these dudes. I'm just gonna get as much as I can. I think I need some more ores though, but after that we should be good. The crystalline bear, probably don't have time. There's that, we got three minutes left on the clock. More roots, I want some ore, there we go. Make this one, can we make anything else? Nope, it's gonna have to do, we got three minutes. Gonna need some vials. I have no idea what those potions do. Add our herbs. All right, well, we got one minute left, here goes nothing. I think these are prayer potions, right? Let's run away from that thing again. Oh, so it's like a stamina potion. So every time that that color changes, I think he changes prayer. And we're out. My reward? Hey, an adamant plate skirt. Let's keep going. That's the boss, whoops. Got a bow straight off the bat. Let's go straight for that. So we know those are prayer potions. We don't need too many of the herbs, maybe like two. Don't need fish right now, I'm gonna skip the fish. Let's head back. Gonna drop the herbs. Let's see here. Bow, out of crystals, but that's okay. I'm gonna drop everything. Uh, I don't have another teleport. Messed up there. So I need a weapon and a helm. Let's see here. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Here's some more shards. I'm I'm booking it straight back. One of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. Make our potions real quick. Ah, uh, we need to go one more. One more run. Drop my vials there, my ore here, my logs here. Get it all organized. Perfect. That is just what we need. More crystals. I think that's everything. Let's make the staff. Hmm. Hmm. What am I missing? Bark? No. Ore? Come on, let me upgrade it. Still won't let me. Well, this is what we're going with. Got no choice. Let's just go. So blue is mage. Range. Switch to the staff. It's mage again. Run away from that. Don't die. Uh. I have no idea what the floor patterns do. Except that they have something to do with the attack style. Man, this is hard. <laughs> and we got an adamant dagger. Excellent. Something I did notice when I was killing the boss was that I had no timer, meaning I think the timer only applies for the amount of time you have before you enter the boss. So in that case, that means I have a full 10 minutes. I thought I had 10 minutes to do everything at the same time. I'm gonna try next attempt and make sure I'm fully prepared. Let's do it. Fourth attempt. Never mind, I'm gonna exit back. All right, we got 10 minutes. We need to find some rats or something. I know we need lots of linen for this. Here we go. Can't make anything yet, but I'm just gonna drop them all right here. Grab a teleport crystal. There's a bat. Let's get a weapon frame from here. There we go. Get the bow. All right, let's see if we can make anything yet. Yeah, nothing yet. We just need some ore. There's a bunch of fishing spots in here, so we'll come back to that later. Still looking for some mining spots though. And we need one more weapon frame. There we go. One more. Maybe some herbs and some more crystals and a weapon frame, that's right. There's one. I wonder if melee would actually be good. I don't think it would be though. Five minutes left on the clock. There's like no mines over here. There is one. Okay, we should have enough supplies, then we'll just need some fishing. 
helmet. See if we can make it tuned yet. And we're low on crystals again. Oh, at the same time, uh, we need some vials. Can't go around here if we have no run energy, so. I really need some uh, some more things. <laughs> Missing a lot. We need one more we weapon frame. I hope he can drop a weapon frame, because if not, we're we're kind of screwed. I don't know if what to do if we only get one. Oh, we have a we have a staff, so I got no food. I'm gonna see what happens when time runs out. I wonder if it'll just teleport you or something. Teleport you into the boss room. Oh, yep, it did. Okay, this will be really interesting. No food. My armor is definitely way better, but... We're actually doing some work on it. But we lost again. Man, we're getting close. Getting close. Five Mithril Maces. Some loot right there. Let's try again. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna get the food out of the way right now. And then I'll just cook them, drop them on the floor. That way they're ready to go. And we got some ores this run. That's nice. Let's head back. Cook all these. Drop these off over here. Make another teleport. Make two. So we need linum. It's a lot of ore, but no wood. That's a dragon. Let's not go that way. Linum. There's some wood. Still on the lookout for weapons. Got our two potions. Let's get a weapon frame from these, hopefully. We don't need anything else. We really just need some more wood. And crystals. Giant. Oh, there's some. All right, let's go for the bow, attuned. Wield that. What else can we make? Got our full set, drop those. And we'll go back in. We already have food, we already have all that. So what we really need is more crystals and more wood. There's another one. All right, let's see if we can find a high level creature. There we go. I'm assuming this drops the, the magic, right? The magic staff? Crystal orb, yeah. And another weapon frame, that's really good. Okay. What we really need right now is some crystals before I go back, because then I won't be able to make what I need and I'll have to make another trip. Three minutes left on the clock, we're doing good so far. Let's hope 500 is good enough. Pick up our ores, some linum, staff. Go for the perfect one. Got to tune to everything. I think we're just gonna have to go with this. I don't think I can upgrade anything else. We have full attuned, we should be good. All right, well, this is it. We find out. I'm just gonna see if I can upgrade anything else. Ah, uh, we don't have time, let's go. At least our staff is attuned. Or is perfect this time. That was a good switch, huh? Doing pretty good this time. See when it switches. Oh, there's two now. Ooh. Mage. Keep going. I'm being quiet because this is really difficult. <laughs> oh. Oh, now there's three. It's uh. a lot of switching for this. I don't know what it means.
Almost got it. We can do it. Oh man. Don't panic. Don't panic. Did we do it? Oh, we did it. We did it. We completed the task. That was intense. It's probably a bad time, but I don't care. I did it. Hey, it's not bad. Uh, it's pretty bad, 40K, but still, that was fun. I have successfully completed the gauntlet without looking at a single video or guide. I feel pretty satisfied right now. Let's go ahead and get the new task. We have successfully completed the gauntlet with no guide. So let's go ahead and mark that off. Okay, let's go for the next task. Let's do this. Oh, yes! Finally, I've been waiting for this all day long. We just got boss time. So what is boss time? Well, you'll find out in the next episode. Please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. Peace.